Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sheetal Keriji. I am doing PhD in Visual Media at Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pira Mysore Campus. So my topic is infusion of information and communication technology. That means ICT in Gujarat Rural Development with e-governance. PPT. Next, next. Topic ke par ayin. Topic introduction par ayin. Topic ke par. Paran ne paran ne intro paran ne. Main topic ke paran ne lo. Okay. Uh, so this paper attempts to identify. the e governance and ict enabled rural development schemes and also make an effort to identify the problems and challenges of e services in rural areas of gujarat so the research is based on completely secondary data that means the numerous online sources are databases like google scholar internet search engines google and websites academy and several government official sites like nic gujarat information limited india.government.in e governance portal and official gujarat state portal are used for the study next so first of all we need to know that what is e governance the word e governance defines as the implementation of information and communication technology to alter the efficiency effectiveness transparency and accountability of information Uh, informational and transaction exchange within government between government and government agencies of national state municipal and local levels citizens and business and to empower citizens through access and use of information mr 2019 explained that e governance is a global phenomena that comes about within development and developing countries so e governance is otherwise called smart governance smart means s means the simple m means the moral A means accountable, R means responsible, and T means transparent governance. The citizens provide, and go government are joined together with the help of technology and provide good services to citizens on a real time basis, and to call it service triangle. So, e governance offers a set of frameworks and direction in the execution of government policies in following. So, we can see the three main elements. the first one is g2g g2g means government uh, government to government services and g2b means government to business services g2c means government to citizens the direct connection between the government and citizen that is g2c gujarat has been one of the constantly innovating state in india the ultimate aim of the state government is to develop rural areas by economic development and empowering people to a solid structure of devices and network applications and also the effective implementation of policies gujarat has developed as one of the greatest e ready states in the country gujarat is the number one state in the execution of e governance policies and projects in our country so uh, i already told that this paper is trying to identify the e governance and ict enabled rural development schemes and attempts to identify the main problems and challenges of e services in rural areas of gujarat we know we know that the significance significance of e governance so the first one is minimize the corruption that is the main agenda behind the e governance so that means e governance is very transparent to uh, common people and right? common citizens so the minimize the corruption keep away from long queues expand the distribution and efficiency of government services improve government communication with businesses and industry people empowerment through access to information more efficient efficient service of government increasing transparency in administration more convenient to citizens and businesses cost reduction revenue growth increased legitimacy of government reduce paperwork improved planning and coordination between between different levels of governments that means the different departments of government improved relationship between the public authorities and citizens that means the government and citizen that is g2c and restructuring of administration process when it comes to the review of literature kumar k 2017 explained that by the implementation of ICT information and communication technology in e governance to reduce the difficulties of people interacting with 
the government can be done 24 into 7 without any complication. That is, it's very easy to do their works through online services. So the main pillars of e-governance are people, process, technology, resources. These are the main four main pillars of e-governance. And other pillars are connectivity, knowledge, data content, and capital. Capital means money. The main aim of e-governance is to deliver safety with internet attacks and provide protection. Rural development schemes provide opportunities, information, and easy access to citizens. One of the major highlights is many of these rural development schemes has been successful in India. Srivastava S. 2017 says that in the present scenario, the urban and semi-urban areas are set apart with media accessibility and help to change the lifestyle of people in rural areas. The new ICT projects are just a beginning and it has been giving hope for development and completely eradicate the digital divide from the country. So in the present scenario, we are facing a lot of digital divide, but by, by through development, it can be eradicated easily. Gupta A and Gautam SS 2017 says that ICT enabled e-governance has helped a lot of citizens and government due to the availability of these technologies in the present generation getting service of several departments from the single window centers professionally. Rural e-governance initiatives in India. These are the main initiatives that is that are CRISP, NEGP, NIC. A lot of e-governance projects that implemented in India. Um, I mentioned here a very uh, less uh, e-governance project. The number one project is eChaupal. eChaupal is an initiative of ITC Limited to directly connect with farmers in rural areas through the internet for obtaining of agriculture and aquaculture products. It's completely under agriculture area. Then is Agash Ganga, Gangdu, TKK. TKK means Tata Kisan Kendra, Lok Mitra, Kisan Call Center, Bumi. Bumi is the project under Karnataka. This is the one of the successful project under e governance. Then K H A J A N E E Seva, E Court, E District, M C A Twenty One, E Official, E Log. These are the main projects under e governance. So when it comes to the methodology, this research paper is grounded on a secondary data, completely under, under uh, the secondary data collections. Numerous online sources are databases like Google Scholar, Internet Search Engine, Google, and websites, Academia, and several government official sites like NIC, National Informa Informatics Center, Gujarat Informatics Limited, India.government.in, e-governance portal, and official Gujarat state portal are used for the study. Next, when it comes to the analysis part, e-governance programs, uh, Gujarat government implemented a lot of e-governance programs to develop the rural sectors. The state government tried to er eradicate the gap between urban and rural area through e-connective techniques. The state of Gujarat used ICT in various sectors to make the act active, speedily and transparent. Sorry, to make the activities speedy and transparent. The milestone of e-governance is the implementation of SWAN, statewide network. G means Gujarat, G S W A N, satellite communication, SATCOM, and Gujarat State Data Center, G S D C. The major initiatives of government, uh, Gujarat government, uh, are iKisan portal. Several initiative, initiatives like the iKisan portal and so, soil health cards are the main initiate, uh, initiated in the agriculture sector and also eGram. Vishwagram project aims at facilitating internet connection in Gujarat villages. Rather than this, lot of other projects are implemented in this states like ATVT, TPSD, uh, Idhara, e Gujkop, e Zameen, e Nagar, online job application system, OJS, etc. EGRAM initiative is the most successful e governance actions in the Gujarat. The EGRAM project has permitted computerized record keeping for accounts and maintenance of catalog of taxes at the, village, at the village level. So the initiatives of Gujarat government like Swagat, 
Swagat means welcome. Swagat uh, that we can explain that that state wide attention on grievance by application of technology. The main aim of the scheme is to seeking satisfactory solution of all the compliances of the citizen. The main goal of Swagat was to develop the proficiency and aid officials in handling public grievance in the state and to afford an effective e-governance requests that with high bandwidth. Next session is health. We can see the 14 uh, schemes under the health, G, H, M, I, S, D, L, I, M, S, uh, E, I, S, D, M, A, E, L, E, O, L, E, M, A, M, D, A. So we can see a lot of e-governance project under health communication. Next is education. Uh, D, I, S, E, the one of the main scheme under the education is a system collection of computerized detailed data on school location management teachers, school buildings and equipments, environment by gender and age, um, like numeral, numerous uh, number of disabled children in various grades. It's also provide for users to check queries and uh, statics and analysis and collection of data at cluster, block and district level. So GKS, GKS means the Gujarat Knowledge Society and uh, Cognant, online fees portal is coconut. So when it comes to the agriculture, uh, soil health card, uh, that is a scheme that provides information about soil and the kind of crops to be grown in various regions. e krishi uh, uh, Kiran program, uh, that is under ICT, XGN, FMIS, these are the main programs under the agriculture. So when it comes to the challenges of e-governance in rural area of Gujarat, the first one is political instability, then the lack of good ICT based infrastructure, resistance of changes, lack of clear vision and strategy, economic imbalances, high initial cost of setup, illiteracy, illiteracy, mainly illiteracy in ICT, unaware of computer and mobile phone operations, digital divide, privacy and authentication problem. People still, still are, uh, they, don't, they don't know about anything about the privacy and authentication problems and uh, interportability, hacking issues, maintainability. Yeah, these are the main challenges faced by uh, the e-governance projects that are implemented in Gujarat. So when it comes to the conclusion, the usage of the internet and internet services is growing fast in our nation. The government of India makes a lot of effort in the new implementations for development. Gujarat government provides a lot of services and spending money to ease the activities of rural citizens to e-governance. We can simply say that the implementation of e-governance in Gujarat is completely successful. More than 250 websites are available which provide information on several phases of government in Gujarat. ICT enable rural development and schemes are partially successful because of challenges. The state government must take some action plans to make the individuals to aware of the e-governance activities. The proper participation of citizens can play a dynamic role in the full success of e-governance and development of rural areas. E-governance can encourage good governance. It provides effective, feasible and realistic government services to citizens and it can reduce corruption as well. So you can see the references. Thank you.